Are you comfy, buddy? I think that's comfy. But can I make it better? In this video, I'm gonna mold a custom seat. Or at least, I'm gonna try. Step 1 is to make a template out of cardboard, which we will place inside the seat so that we can mark off the flat sections. This is the bottom section of, let's say, the upper leg section of my template. And I always had a pillow there to fill up the space because it was not comfortable. So that's why I'm putting this layer of foam in there, so that it will not take up that much space of expanding foam. We're gonna cut it under a 45 degree angle. There's my piece of foam. Obviously, I made a mistake. It's way too long, so I have to cut that off. The next panel of MDF in place, some duct tape glued it together. And this one I drilled holes for weight reduction. And there goes the last bit. It's starting to look like something. Oh yeah. So there it is, our Formula One style seat base foaming thing. So it's now like flexible. So we have to move this into a, some kind of big bag and then foam it. Then hopefully with the foam expanding, it will be one solid piece. Here I am joining two 100 liter garbage bags with tape to make one single bag big enough to do the actual molding in. And you may have seen that I'm working on my self-made round dinner table and there's a link to that video in the description. So what I'm gonna do is these ends I'm gonna tighten this up with some tape because I don't want the foam to spill over and I want it to go up. So this is supposed to be the stuff that uh, people use for molding and seat creation for sim rigs. <laughs> so here's our base of the seat in the big plastic bag inside the sim. Got plastic on the walls, on the, on the floor, just in case. Got my mixing cups here with a mark A and B. Also for the volume, equal amounts. That's to mix, gloves, ventilation. Check is done, almost mixy mixy. And then we'll see. as close as I will ever get to being a Formula One driver. Yeah, that's fluffy. Maybe up there you can see it. There we are. We are now at five and a half minutes. Is it well? RB19 launch. Well, next I'm Eddie. Here's some fun. World in Moth. He's cool. Nicky. Mexican guitar from IKEA guitar. Okay, that's cool. Make make a guitar from IKEA furniture. Oh wow. Hello. Yeah. Coge my iPhone, por favor. Ahí está ahí arriba. Yeah. Where is the iPhone? Arriba. So time to get out. Um. Kind of locked in now. This foam kind of tucked in my upper legs here, so uh, that's good. But it's kind of tricky now to get actually get out. So. So we got our first board on, so this is this is actually nice. And here it fill yeah it filled up. That was pore number four. You can see it's really nicely supporting my upper back. Last bit of foam. So 
So the final one done. It's like a little like a car seat actually. So <laughs> so then we get this thing out here. So it's um actually so it's really just like a glove, eh? So it's really nice and pretty. Oh man. Cool. Job done for now. So there we have it, <laughs> just like the real thing, not too bad isn't it? So lessons learned, uh, halfway the video you saw me wrap this excess bag uh, to the side, or well, what I should have done is actually roll it up and then tape it on both sides. And I should, I did that only on the, on the bottom part, I should have also done that here, as you can see there's a lot of expansion to the, to the sides. And I have to cut it all off, so that's waste. So what I should have done is put it, the seat in the back, then wrap it all up, adjust it to the width of the seat, and then do the foaming. And furthermore, I did it in batches. That's the way to go, because uh, if you do it all at once, the foam would be here, the liquid, it would start to set off, it would get semi-rigid and it would not flow up. So definitely the way to go, do it in batches. It's Christmas, unwrapping of the gift. So let's see here. Unwrapped. So here and there are some gaps. The plastic of the bag got wrapped into the foam. It left a gap to fill that up. The first thing I'm gonna do now is do some rough trimming. expanding polyurethane foam to fill in the few gaps that we still have. So next day, this stuff is yeah hard, not hard. It's just soft like, like chewing gum. So really, you need the two component stuff. So I put it in a sim rig, I've been testing it for about an hour and in all modesty it's sheer perfection. Oh yeah, it's super comfortable. So time to finish this thing. I bought on Amazon uh, upholstery foam filled, whatever it's called, and I'm gonna glue one layer of that on where I'm sitting. And I'm gonna use spray contact adhesive for that. So here's the plan. I've never done this, but you gotta try something. So I'm gonna spray glue in the center line here, all the way there. I've got a center line on my foam. So first a line of glue, put it on, have it stuck on there, and then go working sideways. And as you can see there, I glued on some foam for extra upper leg support. So now that I've come this far and did a reasonable job, if I may say so myself, rather than trying to upholster this thing in a professional way, meaning gluing on fake leather or textile or whatever, and probably ruin the whole thing, 
I'm just gonna cover it with a front seat cover for the car. So I'm just gonna put this thing on, staple it on the back, and it has a big advantage, which is I can just take it off as many times as I want and replace it. Fits like a glove, not super tight, but fits the purpose. So, time to test. <laughs> this is so much better. This is really comfortable, it's truly tailor made. Now, you would say the sim is only suitable for me. No, it's not. I still have the old pillow or invitees, so that's not a problem. So oh, let's wrap this one up, done, on to the next project, so if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you didn't already, and there's more videos to come, so keep posted, and hope to see you soon, bye bye.